Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your today, best-selling author, Hilda McQueen, and I write medieval historical romance. So, today I am doing a video to show you guys my updated um, author notebook. I have a video with the same notebook. I think it might be two years old, but I just finished updating the notebook for this uh, year. And I wanted to show you guys a few changes. I think I made a few changes, but for the most part, it's a lot of the same stuff. And you know, it's repetition that sometimes makes us stick to those habits and remember things because if we're doing the same thing over and over, we don't have to stop and try to regroup and all that stuff. Okay, so let me start stop yakking and show you guys my author notebook for 2020. First of all, this cover and this system is from Tool, T-U-L. I don't know if it has it on here anywhere. No, not Tool, Talia. Oh, there we go. Talia. And it comes with the cover, the discs, and you can buy it on um, Amazon. I believe the notebooks are about $30, 20 something, high 20s, low 30s. I can fit a eight and a half by 11 in here. There's a little bit of an overhang from the page to the, if you could see, there's a little bit of an overhang. So the, this is a little bit wider than the eight and a half by 11 page. All right, so, and I used up all the pages that, were, that came with it. I have only a few left, so I had to buy more pages to put inside of it, or I just print on regular paper and punch it with my arc punch so that it'll go in here. And if you're wondering what an arc punch is, oh goodness, it's kind of heavy, but let me show it to you. Okay, so this is an arc punch, and I don't know if you can see. This one I also bought on Amazon, I believe. They're pretty pricey, but if you use a lot of uh, disc systems, then this is a good one to use because you can punch a few more pages than you can. You can also buy the Happy Planner one, but I just prefer this one because you can measure, the, it has the measurement here on the side, have this little tab that you can move back and forth and use for whatever size paper that you are using. Okay, so I will put a link to the ARC down below and a link to this notebook down below. Another thing that you can use is buy a happy planner, the bigger, the biggest size, and um, take out all the insights and then use, maybe use the month for deadlines or word counts and whatever, and then you, you know, use notebook paper in it and make your own, and that might be a less expensive alternative. And my husband make me this little vinyl letterings and with my name on here to match. Okay. So my first section in my author notebook, let me get as much as I can in here. First section is um, just like a motivational page. And I just added like all these motivational um, quotes from Teresa Collins. I bought the whole pack. I think they have it at, at um, Michael's, but it's this one and it's a uh, create a beautiful life and it's uh, 90, 87 pieces of ephemera or die cuts. And I just picked the quotes that I liked the most and I put them on here, made this little collage to kind of, when I open it, kind of go, yes, 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 yes. All right. And then on the back of it, I just have this journaling card that I got from Sweet Kawaii Design and it says, this is your year to sparkle. All right. First, I have these daily task pages and these are from one of the Happy Planners that I wasn't using, so I just pulled out the daily task to write a list of things that I have going on. On this side is some projects that I have going on, and on this side is my go ongoing to-do list. And actually, I have a bad habit of writing to-do lists on different pieces of paper. This one even has like freaking, um, what do you call this? <laughs> Doodles and stuff. I, I have a bad habit of doing that, so. These were kind of tucked in here so that I can uh, transfer them and put them all here on this list. So that's what I plan to do. So let me put them back where they were so I don't lose them. All right, um, so the first section, like I said, is to do. So, the, so then I have the first page and then the rest of the pages are blank. These pages I bought at Michael's and they came in packs. They were already punched so I can just feed them through the printer and they print out fine. Or I can write on them. The second section, and the little, um, these stickers don't stick very well to this uh, plastic of the dividers. 
I bought these dividers separately, by the way, at Staples. Um, so this is a picture of my writing situation when I was in Paris. I just love to look at it. So I kind of stuck it on here. And this bow, I believe, is from Fox and Pip. All right, so this section, of, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said it, but it's projects. And first what I have is a list of the months on this side. So from January through September. And then I have the main things that I have to do. I had to finish a book, do edits on that same book, and then release another book. And then I started a different book. And then I went to do a writer's retreat in Hilton Head. All my travel is highlighted, so I know when I'm going somewhere. And then like every month I just have mainly big highlights of writing, things that are due, things that mostly, it all has to do mostly with just books. This is not like other projects, like let's say I'm going to be doing a collaborative or I'm gonna be doing a vlog or I'm gonna be doing a podcast, none of that is on here. This is just kind of an overview of things that are due because the uh, things like a podcast that I do have an interview for that and then there's this, uh, book sale that a few of us are putting together. All that kind of stuff is in my regular planner. The re This is just highlights and this is my author notebook and the only thing that's in here are things to do with actual books, writing, releases, edits, that kind of stuff, and travel. The second page in the project section is a repeat of that other one, except this is a more visual. This is by the month and the, the covers. Some of these are not the real covers, like this one is a mock-up, but I have a cover to kind of tell me, okay, the main emphasis of this month, for example, is my uh, billionaire cruise box set that I'm doing with other authors. And so I know that, that the month of February is gonna be mainly dedicated to this book and then I should be getting edits back on this book, but so I have that written down here, but my main focus will be writing this book and so on and so forth through the rest of the year. I have everything scheduled on my year as far as which books I'm going to be writing, <clears throat> except for November and December. Those two months are blank, and the reason for that is that I will, this will be whatever I'm planning for 2021, so I don't I usually don't plan to write anything these days because I have to wait and see. I kind of have an idea what I'll be writing here, but for now I'm just going to leave it like blank because that's okay. I have plenty of time. We're just still up here. Time does go by fast though, right? <laughs> okay, the next page is silly. Uh, this is where I kind of just started writing down exactly what I was going to need to do, what I'm going to write, when, and this is kind of all done in pencil and I kind of wrote this all out first before I went back and then did this page. So I print two of these. These are from the Scattered Squirrel. I have so many times told put the link for these. So I printed this, I printed out two of them, one to kind of draft on and then one for the, uh, to put my covers on. And so depending on my mood, if I'm like too overwhelmed and having anxiety or whatever, I'd rather look at this. And if I'm like, I need pictures, I, then I look at this. Makes sense to some of you, some of you who have anxiety, to those of you that are like, get overwhelmed easily, you probably would rather do this. And those of you that are linear would probably do this. I am multiple personality, so I do all three. <laughs> All right, the next part is my per book situation. And so each of, I have tabs here with each of the books that I will be releasing this year or writing this year, I should say. Not really, yeah, I guess they're all releasing this year. So I have a tab for each one. This one is not so telling, but it just kind of has the cover, a picture of the heroine. Um, normally I put a picture of the hero. This one I have, it. I don't know what I did with it. Um, the due date, the release, the start and finish dates, and the word count. I still have to finish filling that part out. Any notes, like if there's any characters I need to remember. In this case, I just um, wrote down the names of their children. And any new characters that popped up in this book that had not popped up before in the previous two books. Um, this one's a good one to show you how I do this um, when I'm working in progress. This one is already done, so this is a one that I just started. So I have to put the due date on here. I'm not sure what it is now. When I started it, when I ended it, and then I'll put the ending word count. My heroine, her name, age, where she's from, what she does, her best friend, and what her best friend does. And then this is the hero, I mean, this is the book cover. Here's a picture of my hero, his name, how old he is, where he's from, and also what he does for a living. And then the next page I have, 
this uh, story takes place on uh, takes place on a cruise ship, so I have the cruise itinerary. On the back of this, I have my word count as I started to write. So the first day, uh, I wrote 920 words because I had just finished another book and I kind of just wanted. My goal was to start writing this book. So, and then finally, I went back and did edits and rewrites on the other book. So I finally come back seven days later and I started writing. So today, my word count for this book was. 2550 and then starting tomorrow I will start at this word count and do my 2500 words for the day. So I'm going to keep a word count here. This is a very short novella so I can do it on here. Uh, so like I said it takes place on a cruise ship so I have the cruise itinerary. I have while I was gone and um, my writing retreat I did all the information, the blurb, or it's a very rough draft and then kind of like getting the story started and what I kind of get the, what my idea is for the story and then I have like pictures to help me kind of figure out what the cruise ship looks like and things like that and and I sent these pictures to all the rest of the group that's writing so that we can all have be describing the same general things so yeah so that's what I do and this is another book I'll be working on this is going to be a Regency and then I have again the hero and the heroine sorry and then this is another book I'm going to be writing into this year or but yeah, this comes out, it's a bit like a Christmas story. And then the last but not least is going to be a Scottish one. That's going to be another Christmas story. Okay, and then I have a blank one of these just in case I decide to redo my entire year or something happens. The next, uh, I don't know if I can show you guys. I'm making sure there's no private information. Okay, so the next one is my event section. And I put it in order. I write down like my first event is Coastal Magic so I have my ticket printed out then I have uh, what stuff I need to bring and this I printed on one of these pages and then I have I think that's all I have for this one then I have Book Lovers Convention again the receipt the books that I'll be signing uh, what my itinerary is for Book Lovers Con in Nashville and then this is an email I got regarding one of the events I'm doing and kind of instructions and other of the same kind, just what is expected for the different events, and then the third event that I'm doing at Book Lovers Con. It's going to be a full one. The next one is um, Lori Foster's Reader Author Get Together in June, and for that I have my hotel reservation. So far I don't have very much listed, and then my very last event back here. I think that's all that's in this notebook right now, but... I just wanted to share with you guys so you guys can get an idea of what goes into this notebook. I can pull it up. I can have my books that I'm writing, all the information on the books. If I'm writing a specific series and I have a totally separate notebook just like this, it is also a binder. Let me show you. Um, this binder is for the um, Clan Ross, the... Um, the what do you call it <laughs> the clan raw series which is a medieval highlanders this is a notebook that i got from i believe also michael's and it's supposed to be a happy planner but i just kind of took all the insides out and it's the same thing this one has just all these notes on each characters i have like pictures to tell me you know what where they live what it looks like the country it's medieval time so i have different notes i have um, each book I have a outline and kind of characters that will be in that part of the book. I, I make notes if something comes up and I put down their blurbs and the same thing for... Oh, this one's really crooked. Oh gosh, I never noticed that before. Well, I'm not going to fix it now, but I just realized how crooked it is. Same thing for this book and all the information and notes and then the last book, the same thing. Um, list of characters. Um, this is an outline for this book and as I go through and I kind of deviated from the outline so then I kind of stopped doing that one. And then um, what do I have in the back? I have these character profiles that I never use but I kind of just keep them in here in case I ever decide to start using them. But yeah, this is for one series alone. So if I'm writing a series, the series gets its own notebook with just different information. I, I'm sorry if I kind of went through it really fast, but I kind of have a lot of 
I'm not so comfortable sharing everything quite so because I'm not really it's not organized in a way that makes sense so I don't want to confuse you guys more but I just kind of want to show you that for a specific um, series it has its own little notebook with its own separate notes for standalones which all of these that are in here uh, let's go back to it where is it here um, where did they go? Projects here. Yes. I consider these projects. So these are all standalones. Every single one of these is pretty much a standalone. And that's why they're just going to be in this notebook. Because this year I'm doing a lot of standalones. And the last, uh, the next book I write for the other series that I just showed you guys um, will probably be what I'm writing in November and December, if I'm going to be honest. So that when I do start on that book, all the notes and whatever are going to go into this notebook. But for as far as uh, right now, for most of the first part of the year, uh, everything goes in this notebook. So if you have any questions, please put, place, put them down below and I will reply in your comments. And thank you so much for checking out my channel. Please subscribe and like this video. Bye.